<coughs> Bobby, yeah. we've been stranded in this desert. I know. It's so hot it and is. dry. Do you know what I could go for right now? Uh, Mountain Dew? No, I need a really big hat because I'm getting fried and I want to cover my neck and I want to cover my face. Do you want a hat that maybe has a brim that spins around that way any way you point your head that that brim is always facing the sun? That's a pretty good idea. I want a hat that's a giant wood. I want a giant wood. I want a giant wood. What if it was made out of wood? <laughs> yeah. I want a giant wooden hat that also doubles as a salad bowl. That's also a really good idea. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm coming through. <laughs> Hello, I'm William Osman, and bring in the guest! Oh, that's my job. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm here today with Bobby Dukes. It's Duke. I, I knew it. Right when I said it, I was like, he's gonna say it. He's gonna correct me. Well, yeah. Are you tired of wearing a hat, but it only blocks the sun from touching one part of you? Yes, I am. And you don't want to have to manually move it around anymore. No, I don't. What if the hat always faced the sun using smart computers and science. The only problem is the only hat we have is the one that we just made on Bobby's channel and it's giant and made out of wood. We're taking art and merging it with science. Do ah! you want to see the CAD model? In the CAD model we have our giant salad bowl hat. Inside of the salad bowl hat we have some plastic rollers in the corners and a plastic ring that has a gear profile around it. The gear profile is what spins everything and the cutout in the center of the plastic ring is where the top of the hard hat fits. We have a couple of issues. One is this is hand carved with an uh, angle grinder. <laughs> we don't really have a good reference as to what this looks like to mount the internal like rotation mechanism to it. And I'm thinking what we'll try and do is stick the whole hat upside down on the router to carve the details into it that we need. And this is... A bad idea? Well, no, I'm just saying we've kind of destroyed stuff before on the router. I know. How much time total was spent carving it? Um... I don't know, maybe 150 to 400 hours. It's only a day's work we're about to ruin. Yeah. Are we gonna be real for a second? The yeah, original yeah. scope of this video, and this is Bobby's idea, by the way. So no, Bobby and his brother. brother. Yeah. Bobby and his brother came up with this idea, and it's like a fantastic idea, right? A hat that always faces the sun. My idea was to cut the bill of a regular hat off, attach a servo to the top of the hat with a couple of stiff wires go to the bill, and so the bill just like kind of bounces and swivels around the hat. And so this yeah. honestly has been one of the more complicated well, things I've done. And like you. Shut up, Michael! Shut up! Michael! Yes. Shut up! What? You're screaming through the whole neighborhood. Michael? Bruh. This is Bobby Duke! Bruh. Shut up! William, are you pretty sure this is gonna work? I am 75% sure. That means it is... time! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you do on your channel, but we don't do that on this channel. I'm sorry, yeah, but you, you don't eat barf? <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend who does that, though. Have you ever seen human cake? Yeah. There we go. Black, black thing. There we go. Oh, no. Stop, stop! Why does it do that? Are you out of your... What lunatic in their right mind sends the machine off to some random coordinate after it's done cutting. Like, I started it here. Like, this is the home coordinate. Like, this is where it starts from. Everything's based out of here. I don't know. You're the robot expert. It just, like, see you later, guys! William? Yeah? You gotta calm down. And you probably close the garage or something like that. But it, it that went. That startled me. Like, that genuinely scared me. I thought you, like, got maimed. He maimed my art piece. Why does the post processor say, right. hey guys, no thanks for, thanks for okay. coming and thanks for hanging out? He really has a vein. <laughs> where were you taking us? Please show me. Show me where you were taking us. Right there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What does this have to do with anything? Is that a smushed bug? Don't tase it. That's really gross. His head fell off.
Ow! When there are very fast transitions into the future in a video, it means something terrible has happened. Hey guys, time is relative. And relatively, we have very little time left to make this hat work. So I think what we need is to pivot. Because pivoting is literally what we need and it doesn't work very well right now. So we're gonna do a figurative pivot and do something completely different. Let me show you what we've done and why it's bad. The last video, everyone was complimenting me because I made something that works. Yeah. We're, we're bringing it back, guys. <laughs> we're back in action! Hey, Michael. Oh, is that uh, like Amazon, but anxiety instead? Yes. Let me show you. This hat fits into the rollers inside the hat and it spins and it spins on them. The gear on the servo, oh, it's not on there. The servo binds up, it just doesn't work reliably, and it's driving me insane. Do you wanna see? That's the binding, right? We're gonna need a hat that doesn't weigh quite as much. Something like this, maybe. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's too late, it like sweat. <laughs> that would work if you were bald. That one kinda makes you look bald. Step one. Attach the servo to the top of the hat. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't really know what it needs, but I fear we're just, the, the we're rotation just... should be in the middle. Oh, it needs some supporting. Is it? Yeah, it, the whole mechanism is flopping around. <laughs> It gets caught, it's in my ear. No, I don't notice anything. Okay, so it's a little bit flexible up top, so we just have to make a... Bobby glued some bigger wood onto the bottom to reinforce it. We've stuck a bigger servo, which I had to rehack to get it to spin continuously. Oh, we didn't show any of that. Basically what you do is there's a little tiny potentiometer in there that spins when the servo spins. You lop that off and super glue it in place so it's always stuck in the middle. So when you tell the servo to go to one position, it just continuously tries to drive to get there, but it doesn't know where it is, so it just keeps on going. You yeah. know? I don't speak nerd. Look at that, Bobby. It's glorious. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Is that yeah. everything? It, Look at that. It's, it's just it's, winding up the wires. It's working. It's actually working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Make uh, it stop. Make it stop. All we have to do now is tell it where the sun is. Oh yeah, grab it. Boy, thank you. It's me, William Osmond with a bad accent. Today, we're looking for the sun. But how do we find the sun? Because it doesn't look like the sun has been here for a while. Let's go on an adventure. This is green. Green means sun. Sun has been here at some point recently. Oi, look at this. It's green here too. No, it's fake grass. It's dyed green. Ain't no sun here. I've got an idea. Is, is the accent drifting or my... All you're gonna need is some trash. Conveniently in front of our house, we always keep trash. Oh yeah, perfect. Two cardboard tubes. We're gonna put them up to our eyes and then look for the sun. But how are these cardboard tubes gonna help us find the sun? Simple, split them apart. Hold the cardboard tubes up to your eyes and move in the direction of the brightest tube. As you get closer to the sun, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter until both tubes are laid over the sun and your face and eyes are lit up equally. But the hat doesn't have eyes, so to figure out where the sun is, we're going to use two light detectors pointing in the same direction with a block in between them. If one photosensor reads a higher value than the other, we'll move in that direction until both photosensors read the same brightness level. We're simply following the brightest light source and pointing the hat in that direction. And these will move with the hat so you know you can kind of continuously see, okay, brighter, 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 same. Yeah. I think the hat is finished, but how do we test if it works? What do you think, Bobby? Here, little boy. Hey, you want it? You want it? You want it? You want it? Go get it! I think it follows it really well. <laughs> you're like, you're you like rip the thing off. Let's see what happens when we go outside in the, well, the sunlight, even though it's overcast. Where would the sun be right now? It's sort of just, <laughs> there's not like a strong enough light source for it to, well, it looks like it's brighter behind us. Yeah. I mean, to be perfectly honest though, this is not really a good use case for this hat. Like we should go somewhere where there is more sun. Yeah. 
And I've heard, you know, California's trying to be more eco-friendly and biodegradable, renewable resources. So that's where this hat is. You know, I'm trying to... This one's actually about 10 times worse yeah. for the environment. <laughs> what about sunscreen? Sunscreen, I think, is bad for the environment too. So I'm saving the environment by not having to use sunscreen. You're saving it because the hats decompose and worms can eat them. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Let's go to the hat store. I hate them all, actually. Oh no. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Can I get a picture? Yeah, you're, 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 wait, 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 young man, young man. We have a fan right here, oh, okay. but only one test you need to pass before you can take a picture. Okay. What is his name? It's like, I think it's Michael or Alex, something oh, like that. Oh, La last name, last name too. Right. Actually, we're not. I don't know. Test. What's his name? Like Wilson or something? Like yes! No, it is Wilson. What, what about, no, it is what, now. What about me? What about... What about... What about... Hey, what about... Hey, wait, wait. What about... What about, what about <laughs> wait, no, hey, wait. What about... I got warrants. You have, you have warrants? Oh I said warrants. Oh! Warrants. <laughs> I said I have warrants. Better. Do you guys have any, like, weird hats? Weirder than the one on your head? Yeah, we sort of just want to see, like, if we have the coolest hats in town. Up here? Farmer hats. Okay, yeah, that's not, that's, that's uh, somewhat eco-friendly. You got anything made out of like weird materials? Anything that like maybe follows the sun to keep all parts of your face protected? <laughs> you can do that without technology? <laughs> you see that? It just does it all at once. Wait, a broom that goes all the way around the hat? Not all the way around the hat. You're kind of a hat expert, which, I would assume. Which one? Which one of these hats is your favorite? The following sun hat or the giant biodegradable hat? Wait, that one? one? That one? Or the following the sun? Which one is that? Yeah, this is that's the biodegradable hat. Whatever that one is. Okay. Hey! Uh, What's cooler, a giant wood hat? Okay. Or a hat that always follows the sun. I would say wooden hat that follows the sun. Well, that's no, 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 no. E either, like, either wooden hat or one that follows the sun. So that's what this. How big is the wooden hat? That big it's or bigger? That, that's yeah. it. These, these hats. Okay. I I like the which hat do you like better? All wooden hat. Hat that follows the sun. I'll say a hat that follows the sun. Yeah, hat that follows the sun. Do you can't. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, Thank you. I appreciate your answer. Honestly, I like these answers. Okay, you want to you point the flashlight at it and like. Actually, I got you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I feel kind of embarrassed for them that they don't have any cool hats I know, like this. And I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, it's kind of shameful, honestly. Isn't it 2020? If anybody or up in lids, like marketing, not like in lids. Yeah, hit, hit us up. Someone, like hit us up. I'm looking forward to talking to you, lids. Bye. Hey, Michael, where's your hat? I've worn these many times before. You think I'm? Well, you have one already. Why are yeah, we buying another one? Yeah, in Hawaii. I have a question. How do you feel about? these hats. Which hat is your favorite? The hat that always follows the sun and inspires kids to do computer science or, or the biogradable hat that kills a tree every time they make one? It's also salad bowl. Obviously the salad bowl. No! <laughs> I respect you. Yeah. No! Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was trying to tell us that we had yeah, to leave. Yeah. I involved security. She going to that store to kick us out of the mall. <laughs> are you hungry, Michael? Michael, do you need a snack? Do we want a pretzel? Are we like a club now? I think so. The Cool Hats Club? Like it freaks out when he goes under the umbrella and then it shoots right back to the front, back in the sun. Man, the security here. How many, how many, are, we're being stocked. Five, are you actually, are you serious? There's actually five security guards following us? Well, it's because they have nothing else to do because this is like the most boring mall in the history of malls. I just hear like twitching. I can't tell if it's a motor or bees living in my ears. <laughs> it works really well. It does work really well. I spent barely any time programming, kind of like the chopsticks, and it just sort of worked. I feel better about how well the software works compared to how poorly the wood hat version of this worked. What? It didn't work at all. Look. No, but like trying to make the wood hat spin? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, that was like probably one of the biggest failures we've had in a long time where it's just like, wow, I actually am literally not going to be able to do this right now unless yeah. I spend another two, three days. Part of that was William's fault. And the other oh, it was all my fault. was William's fault, but... Thank you. You know what? I thought you were going to try to I like... I actually think I like this better just because, well... It looks more high-tech. It looks more threatening. <laughs> It wouldn't be distracting at all while driving either. Instead, <laughs> it's like I am the Earth. It's exactly where it needs to not be. It's it's not exactly doing what I wish it was doing. It's oh no! Oh, it's it's doing it now, kind of. I just I gotta like really low rider it. Well, 
Maybe it's too far. There it goes. No, it's just oh, going. I know why, because the sensors are pointing almost straight up at the ceiling. I'm gonna quickly pop it up. Ah! 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 No! Stop! He zip tied the batteries in place. Oh, that was scary. I almost thank you guys. I almost lost my fingers, but with uh, together as a team, we can make anything happen. Go watch Bobby Duke's video where we, mostly him, built this giant wooden hat. What are you waiting for?